let's look at number 62. And I say identify the domain and range of the following function. Then they give you a graph. Which looks like this. More or less. So for our domain. Yeah, your domain is all your x values where your graph exists. If I look over here at negative 1, negative 2, my graph doesn't exist there. It doesn't actually start until 0, and uh, then it goes to the right. Now, it kind of goes up like that, but it's slowly inching to the right. So my graph exists at 2, for example. It exists at 3. And if I come over here at uh, 1 million, for example, if I went up far enough, my, I'd find my graph, because it's as it's going to the right, it's slowly inching out. It might take a while. So my domain is going to go from 0 to positive infinity. Now there'll be a bracket on the 0 and a parentheses on the infinity. Bracket because uh, if, if there was an open dot there, like if it looked like this, then that means it's a parentheses. But since there is an open dot, then it's a bracket by default. Now your range. Your range is your y values where your graph exists. If I come down here to negative 1, my graph doesn't exist here. At negative 2, it doesn't exist. Negative 5 doesn't exist. But if I come up here, it starts at 0, and then it goes up forever. So 0 to infinity. Same idea, bracket on that. Well, um, oh, they don't put it into that notation. Okay. That's interval notation. Uh, so for a domain, uh, x is going to be greater than or equal to 0. And for our range, y is going to be greater than or equal to 0. Um, which would be, um, they put in set builder, but my brain's shutting down, so that's good enough. D is in David. D is in done. Done for the night. Um, so, let's see. 62D. And it checks. 